Hey everybody, welcome to my not-so-weekly Prince Edward Island real estate update for the first week of September 2021. Welcome! Thank you for watching the video and visiting the channel. We're just at the end of the uh, tropical storm, storm hurricane that came up from uh, Louisiana through New Jersey, New York. So that has ended here and the sun is finally out, which is great. Uh, just to go back to 2006, basically where the PEI market is is just absolutely incredible so 2006 first quarter things absolutely changed in PEI they went from a buyer's market to a seller's market very much so in between 2006 Q1 and today we're up approximately 58 percent depending on the market you're looking at and whatever city acreage lots uh, whatever the case may be it's up about 58 percent overall there's more stats at CMHC in Korea so that's good news. Uh, when COVID-19 started, I figured we'd all be taking a vacation here in, the, in uh, real estate, and that didn't happen. In fact, our buyers, of which 99% are probably from Southern Ontario, between Burlington, Oshawa, Whitby, Scarborough, Markham, Richmond Hill, and over to Ottawa, were buying properties completely sight unseen based on technology. May that be 360 video, Google Earth, Bing Maps, the government ortho mapping site, satellite views, all kinds of tools online that help people buy properties comfortably online. Those that didn't have waited until the border, the provincial border, and the case with our American friends, the U.S.-Canadian border, were open to fully vaccinated people. So within the last week or so, we've had a massive influx of people buying properties in PEI. The perception, according to Google, is people are finding islands to be a lot safer under these circumstances than any other mainland locations on the planet. So that's really helped our market, especially against our major or number one competitor, which is Nova Scotia, which is typically much more expensive as well. Plus, we have all the beaches, the gulf, the wharfs, and of course, the Confederation Bridge. So, we at last uh, couple weeks, we listed 28 Donald, beautiful bungalow 3,000 square feet on two levels in West Royalty Charlottetown sold with multiple offers 140 Colson Road, Road and Seaview country farmhouse that was operating as an Airbnb on a few acres uh, it's sold with multiple offers nice access to a beach there if you haven't checked out Seaview Park Corner you need to do that uh, 269 Baker Shore Road gone multiple offers and what else we had a water view lot that actually I believe set a, a, a record number for sale. It was a water view lot in Sunset Dunes, Cape Traverse. Great subdivision with a view of Confederation Bridge that was sold for just under around 100000 it was listed for. In addition to that, the acreage in Gasparo that I did the aerial video on, uh, that has also sold. So that's gone. Nice private piece of acreage. About four acres plus or minus. Sold. So that's gone. Uh, coming up, if you haven't seen Sunbury Cove in St. Nicholas, which is about 10 minutes away from Summerside, down to Government Road, check out sunburycove.com, S-U-N-B-U-R-Y-C-O-V-E.com. Uh, we're just opening up Phase 2. Phase 1 is pretty well sold out the 26 lots that were available. So I believe there's about another 20 lots, waterfront and water view, that are available as of today. We're just in the process of putting those roads in. This is a 240-acre paradise down a private two-mile road. Check it out, sunburycove.com. You will get a discount on the building lot if you build in the subdivision. Uh, finally, what we're listing soon is a 3,000 square foot on two levels bungalow with the attached double garage, mint condition, beautiful home, 1.4 acres with a view of New Glasgow Golf Course and the river, and that's going on for $599.9. If you're interested in that, contact me. I also have a high-end home in the Stratford area that's just over 4,000 square feet, four bedrooms, probably one of the nicest well-built homes I've seen in a long time. So that's going on for 1.25 and I believe that's on a very large approximately acre and a half lot with exceptional water views and access to the water. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Ignore my car talking to me. Be sure to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about Prince Edward Island real estate or PEI real estate 
or PEI in general, put it in the comments below. Bye for now.